Hello and Sashikal YouTube. Today we are going to discuss about USB Stealer. It is basically a way to acquire all the passwords stored in a PC. These are the ones that are stored when people hit remember me. If you have this habit, well, you might want to reconsider having it. I'll come to this. Now you know what we are going to do. So the next question that comes is how to do it. But before that, let's see what things are required to perform this task. Now you are seeing some of the files that are required for this purpose. Now these are only some of the files, not all. Uh, but the download link that is given in the description is giving you all the files or different types of files. Those are required for getting password from different browsers or different. I'm not going to explain their function in detail, considering you might find it boring. Now that we have got all the files, we need to copy these to the USB. Next we need to create two separate notepad files, the contents of which are being displayed on your screen right now. You have to pay attention to their names as they are really important. Uh, you can also see the last line of this autorun.enf file as it is an alert dialog. So you should change it for something less suspicious. Uh, the next notepad is launch.bat. The BAT stands for batch file. Uh, it is actually the file which is commanding the files that we copied for uh, to the USB to start when the autoplay feature is kicked in. Save this file with launch.bat name. Next we need to copy these to the USB. Now our USB stealer is ready and this is the demonstration. You have to select the autoplay and then you can open any file to see the passwords so as you can see we have got the password and this is how it looks now two most important conditions for your trick to work are the person you are trying to steal from have some password stored on the PC and that the autoplay feature is turned on these are really important for your trick to work lastly we want to tell you to be safe as we mentioned in the beginning that you should not have a habit of storing your passwords on the PC now you know why be safe.